Hi everyone, this is D, and uh, it is the 27th of June today. It is Thursday, June 27th, 2024, and I have uh, gotten back into um, the swing of um, writing down uh, the words from um, the littlebook.pdf um, for you so that if you're really, really busy and don't have the time, I'm going to be doing this. I won't be doing every single um page however so it's whatever's on my heart and the last uh when i finished i believe i finished up on page 95 now i'm on um page 111 this is i have given you great hope this was given to the prophet who the lord spoke to the male servant uh, by the name of william brooks on uh, may the 3rd of this year so this is really heartwarming and this exciting, it's beautiful words from Jesus Christ um, to his bride. Um, so it's a couple of pages here, so stay tuned, everybody. And if you have any comments, please let me know. I'm going to start now. I bow my head and I bow my heart. Uh, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, Abba Yah, be acceptable in your sight, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua HaMashiach, I pray, to deliver the message that you gave to William. Thank you, Lord, for all those who haven't had a chance to see and to hear it. Come to me and hear my words, my bride, for I am here to soothe your souls, comfort your hearts, make you whole in me, Christ Jesus. Faint not at my words of reproof, for whom I love, I chasten, that your calling and election may be sure in me, the bridegroom, even Christ Jesus. My children, lean your ears into my voice and hear my words, for I have not called you to judgment and condemnation, but have declared you righteous in me, even your Lord Jesus Christ. Have you not heard what Paul told the Corinthians in his first letter? And now abides faith hope, and love, even these three, but the chiefest of these is love. And so love is the greatest of these three, for Yahweh's love cannot be conquered. Yahweh's love is the glue that binds. It's the great motivator, and to give freely as you have received is being an imitator of God. So many of you have lost hope, even your hope in me, Jesus Christ, for I have given you great hope. My children, understand that the thief would confuse you and lead you astray. But God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of saints. Satan has endeared to obfuscate my precepts that I have given in my revelation of the great mystery of God to the Apostle Paul. These many times past now. My children, my children, your hope is the very concept that keeps you motivated to endure the many trials and tribulations you have in this life. For without your hope, you would be, as Paul declared to the Corinthians, if in this life we have only hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept? My children, I have given you great hope for your hope, for I have said, you which are alive and remain will be caught up in the clouds as the dead in Christ will rise first, and you will all be changed, for so will you be like me evermore, so will my bride be with me forevermore. For what is your hope in Christ, my children? Is it not the promise of full redemption and restoration, where you will see heaven and the majesty of glory of the glory of, of Yahweh with your own eyes? Is your hope not? Is your hope not a future where you will serve me in my kingdom of righteousness? For as you have been faithful over a few things, so I will make you ruler over many things. Is not your hope the promise of eternal life, 
where you will eat from the tree of life and walk the streets of New Jerusalem, where the light of Yahweh and the light of Yeshua HaMashiach will shine in glorious brightness? Is your hope not a glory of many crowns and rewards for your faithfulness and love towards me, Christ Jesus? Is not your hope a hope of perfect health, no more sickness, no disease? As is not your hope that I will subject your enemies under your feet and to even make the synagogue of Satan bow at your feet? For they will know I have loved you, our hope, one of everlasting joy in the presence of Yahweh himself. For he will make his dwelling place among men, and no longer will there be a divided kingdom, but the kingdom of God only. For there is none greater than Yahweh. No, none can compare to the splendor of the great eternal God, even our Father. Rejoice in your future, my children, for I have given you a future and a holy purpose in me, your shining Lord. Is not your hope a great hope where you are saved from wrath in me? For yours is even the greatest hope, the hope spoken of by my chosen vessel, the Apostle Paul, the very steward of the great mystery of God. For I have revealed to Paul what he wrote to the Colossians, even the mystery which hath been hid from ages and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yours is a glorious hope fit for a king, for I will make you kings and priests before our God. For I am the high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, and there will be no other. My little ones, fear not the lies of the enemies, for he would exhaust you in futility if only he could. But he has met his match in me, and I have defeated him fully, and I am coming to destroy his kingdom. For I was sent to undo the works of the devil, and so I have sent you. The ancient serpent and all of his kingdom have no hope. They know they are condemned to everlasting destruction and punishment where they will burn in the hottest flames of blue as they swim in burning brimstone forevermore. They are jealous of you and would give anything to be you, so don't listen to their words. Hear me, my bride. Satan will do anything to lead you from your reward in me, Christ Jesus. He will do anything to cloak your hope that I have given you. And so his methods in this category many times are to cheapen the concept through counterfeiting the truth and by way of his lying tongue. Fear him not, but depart from his lies and keep your true hope in mind. For have you not read the spirit of itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God? And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. My children, if only you understood the magnitude of what it means to be a joint heir with Christ, but you will soon, even as you are known. But you will soon know, sorry, even as you are known. Do you not understand that God has given me all things in heaven and earth, and my inheritance is the greatest inheritance? My children, you simply don't know your true selves, for your true selves are hidden in me. And when I shall appear, so shall you appear with me in glory. So that's where I stopped, everyone. Um, every single thing that the Lord has said in all these um, transcripts are very, very powerful, very meaningful, and they certainly open our eyes. So I'm going to continue um, writing the, uh, the uh, PDF file for you um, 
I guess I'm just going to keep going on. So thank you very much for paying attention. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. If you want prayer, I'm here for you also. Thank you, everybody. Have a blessed day. Amen.